mean, uh, the way I see growth is growth is basically marketing 2.0. I wouldn't say necessarily that uh, it's it's different from marketing, except it's kind of like being a lot more intelligent about it. And yeah, so I, I wouldn't say having a growth hacker is necessarily important, but there should definitely be people in the company focused on the metrics and you know the analytics dashboard and tracking user behavior and you know really learning from your users. Um, that's like because because really like. Every, I think the heart is fickle and your intuition isn't going to be always right 100% of the time. But then if you look at stats and metrics and user behavior, like that's going to tell you exactly how users are behaving and, and engaging with your platform. So it's like absolutely critical. So first it's like it's all about figuring out all the different metrics, right? trying like hundreds of different things until you find those three things that actually stick. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of just really focus on that experience, that part of the experience. Um, and it might not necessarily be like a positive side. It could be like a negative side. It could be like there's like a thousand people coming to our website and only 10 people are signing up. So then when, once you figure that out, then you're like, okay, let's focus our efforts on, you know, converting people and improving the sign up flow and, you know, things like that. Um, yeah, I mean, to touch bases on that, it, 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 growth hacking is generally just understanding uh, the user behavior and how they interact with your website um, or app. Where uh, marketing at the broader scale is, you know, building that brand awareness and market strategy. Um, so it's a little bit different. Great. And then one of the factors you guys have right now is working very closely with local vendors like the cookie department and Indie Cakes in the Bay. As you expand to different cities across the nation, how do you plan to continue working with local vendors? Yeah, I mean, as we scale into other uh, other cities, it is going to be important to create um, and establish relationships with local vendors. Um, and what we'll do ultimately do is, you know, start curating um, what are the best products, what do people like, um, and what do people naturally have an affinity towards. Um, and that's really going to help uh, both build Soon Rocket and also the other company that we're working with. 